Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Yogita Jada. On behalf of Electrical Department in association with EPEC Student Body, warmly welcome uh, Mrs. Yogita Bahe, ma'am, to our third session of Vidyudhara Eliminating Pathways of Power and Progress. As we celebrate the auspicious festival of Navratri, where we honor strength, wisdom, and grace of Goddess Durga, we are reminded of incredible contributions of women like you who have excelled in their respective fields. So, Yogita Bade Ma'am is a lead analyst at SACON. With over five years of experience, she has held various roles from operational specialist to senior analyst, demonstrating strong skills in their system optimization also. Then team coordination and provisioning circuits with expertise in Microsoft Office and team management. So, she consistently drives efficiency and aligns systems with MAM, with a graduate of uh, Kikiwag Institute of Engineering Education Research, NASA. So, MAM, your journey and accomplishment uh, are truly inspirational and we believe that your insights would be invaluable to our students. Thank you so much, MAM. So, MAM, uh, can you Thank tell... Thank you so much for the you... great introduction. Thank you, MAM. Yeah. Uh, so, ma'am, uh, shall we start question and answer session? Yeah, sure. So, ma'am, uh, can you please tell uh, what student uh, should be focused on to prepare for their first job? So, actually, for getting the first job, I think priority is to get into the sector or the corporate field. It's to do with the apt and reasoning. That is the first thing for the screening. Then, with that, the communication equally matters because... So, uh, like, if there are some questions or if you are not technically that much good, you can uh, convince the interviewer with your communication. We can, you can uh, also evolve him with your communication skills to get it passed and get the screening done. But uh, I think communication is the other way, which is the first choice of companies. And nowadays, on the basis of communication and the technical knowledge, the interviewers select you for the companies. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So, I think, ma'am, uh, what skills do you think students uh, should possess in order to get success in their respective fields, to get that respective jobs? Uh, actually, uh, I don't want to specify exactly to my field or refer to my field. I would like to name those skills which are essential in all fields. So, with communication and knowledge, the most essential skill, I think, the... A candidate or the person should have is the five mindsets so to get through any position right from the junior to the senior position you need these five mindsets with you so first one is the protagonist mindset second is warrior mindset then third you should have the maverick then uh, i think you should also have the campaigner and lastly the enterprising mindset like you should know where to speak speak up in the right room where to stop the person where you should interact, where you should not, where you should not cross the line of respect and you should not get yourself insulted. So that are the skills with the technical communication and knowledge. You should possess all these mindsets along with the growth mindset as well. You should be open for each and every learning. Yeah, that's great, ma'am. So, ma'am, yeah. can you please tell what efforts uh, did you put uh, into the actual success when your current position you are? Sorry, um, I didn't heard you clearly. Okay, ma'am. Uh, what efforts did you put into actual success in your current position, ma'am? Uh, efforts is like, firstly, I always, each and every candidate go through is the apt and uh, reasoning test. So, that I have done. Then, efforts is like, I have learned new skills. I have got the basic knowledge of the things. I get through it. Uh, firstly, when I was not aware of this field, I started with surfing on the Google. Then I go ahead with learning the uh, new things, inculcated myself with the new skills, with the mindsets as per the experience I had. So in my case, I switched the field completely. Then I tried to get the basic knowledge. Uh, then uh, I read various published papers, recent trains in the telecom sectors and the most helping and for me to get to this current position is the rapport that I have built with my team along with the skills that I have. So rapport building is the most key success pointer for me. Oh, okay. 
so as we know that ma'am most of the students are struggling with, uh, with to differentiate that is the they are getting the knowledge in their uh, curriculum and syllabus so we all are very uh, we all are very uh, inspired for ma'am ki to know that what is the basic difference or uh, between the corporate culture and the college so can you please describe that uh according to that i don't think there is much difference because first thing is the respect that both the uh, sectors have like for educational field as well means in the college life as well and for the corporate as well then you should also know the tonalities in college sometimes we can just uh, talk to with our friends or sometimes we can also talk with our lecturers like uh with the kind of a rude tone that should not happen but in corporate the rude tone cannot be tolerated at all so tonality matters you should have a neutral tone that is the most thing then you should be uh, what i can say you should not juggle with your personal and professional work life balance in our college times what we do is we just have our personal life and our curricular or academical activities but when we go to the corporate sector or any other sector for our job or the professional terms we need to have the balance between both of the, the both the things so maintaining the balance is the difference which we need to maintain yes ma'am sure so ma'am uh, can you please describe your job role and department you work in yeah um, before going to my job role i would like to know what for which company i work and what exactly they do so i work for secon and secon is a telecom network technology telecom. leader that help global enterprises like uh, what can i say is organize understand and manage intelligently manage their communication ecosystem or uh, it is a technology framework that enterprises globally to transform their de telecom and device portfolio so now in secon i work as a lead analyst in the provisioning or you can say a procurement team so my job role is to fulfill the telecom needs of the clients and for which uh, we work globally so as i work for the global clients so digging down into it we are responsible for the uh, telecom services ensuring circuit hardware configuration that should be in the alignment by tracking the progress of the service request to ensure uh, sorry to ensure the service provider is deploying the requested service in a timely manner so that the client business should not hamper so this is the main thing which we are focused on yes ma'am so ma'am uh, how do you collaborate with other departments in your company oh <laughs> yeah uh, as we are still having the work from home module so it's a kind of bit difficult thing to collaborate but uh, what we usually do is like instead of uh, we use teams for the collaboration or the communication uh, bridge we can say so for the teams instead of uh we just ping them or message them instead of we try to get on a call okay so uh we try to get on a call and once you get on a call with the uh what i can say with the uh, technical knowledge or with the difficulties we have we discussing that we can also sometimes have a informal communication so that helps to collaborate and build a rapport with the other teams yeah So, ma'am, uh, I think what skills do you think are essential for success in your field? Uh, uh, I answered for that on already. Like, not only the okay. communication and the skills, other mindsets are important okay. as well. Yeah. So, ma'am, uh, are there opportunities for advancement in your department? What do you, what yeah. Do you yes, there like? are. yes there are so many like telecom sector is growing or blooming day by day with various technologies there is lot of data that needs to be managed so that cannot be done manually that needs the new technologies to required and to keep the data safe so uh, let me give you an example like uh, we have one of the uh, vendor or the service provider that is starlink which is owned by a well known person elon musk so just now he has uh, jumped into this telecom business so what they actually provide they provide the satellite internet service so for most of the businesses what nowadays or what the earlier we are having is they are having every connection as a wired connection because it is a huge 
telecommunication network we are building there. So it need to be the wired telecommunication. But as Elon Musk has started his service providing company, that is the Starlink, he has invented the satellite internet service provider, which the what uh, which the most leading business can work without the wired connection. They can work on wireless without hampering their any of the work or any of the day to day type of work. So that is the main thing. Then in the US, as we know, we are still not exactly in India on the 5G. So they are expanding in US, they are expanding their 5G and they are also planning for the 6G and more in US, which brings more potential to the field with the scope of advancement in the jobs. So ma'am, uh, can you please recommend any resources or certifications that help you in career? Uh, what I exactly will refer is instead of going with the technical certification, you can for the technical things, you can just Google, learn uh, from the published papers or go with the trend. That is sufficient for the technical knowledge. But to get into the field to exactly uh, manage the project, you need to have the project management certification. That is the PMP certification, which helps you to... Uh, what I can say, evaluate or which helps you to elongate your ways for more jobs. So with the help of PMP certification, you do have more job opportunities. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, students, if you having any questions or doubts, then please feel free to ask and please put your message in chat box. Yeah, sure. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. so there is no question okay. so on the behalf of everyone here i would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to yogita bade ma'am for sharing our valuable insights with us today your knowledge and experience have truly enriched our understanding we deeply appreciate the time and effort you put into the session thank you once again ma'am thank you so much Thank you so much. Honor to be here.